lateral plantar nerve. Lateral plantar nerve is a branch of the tibial nerve. The tibial nerve branches in the tarsal tunnel into calcaneal branches and medial plantar nerve and lateral plantar nerve. There is a flexor retinaculum around the ankle area, and thickening of this flexor retinaculum will cause compression of the posterior tibial nerve and causes tarsal tunnel syndrome. We are all familiar with the arrangement of the tendon and the nerves and the vessels in this area. We call it Tom, Dick, and Harry. And we did find from our research that if you draw a line between the medial malleolus and the calcaneus, the medial malleolus calcaneal axis, we found that the posterior tibial nerve divides into its branches within two centimeters from this axis. Now you have a medial plantar nerve and the lateral plantar nerve, and we're going to talk about the lateral plantar nerve. This nerve is interesting because its branches give innervation to most of the intrinsic muscles in the foot. It's almost similar to the under nerve in the hand. So you can see here a diagram uh, with all the branches of the lateral plantar nerve. Just remember the interosseae comes from the lateral plantar nerve. This nerve is also important because it has the Baxter nerve, which is always mentioned as a nerve entrapment in running athletes. So the patient will have chronic heel pain that's present for a long time, maybe even a year, and the pain is very similar to the plantar fasciitis pain. It may actually have a start-up pain and the pain is in the same location, and the mechanical symptoms are really the same. But in addition to that, there is a nerve pain, uh, and it has nothing to do with weight bearing at all. So they found that it's compression of the first branch of the lateral plantar nerve, which is branch of the abductor digiti quinti, which gets compressed between the fascia of the abductor hallucis, longus muscle, and the medial side of the quadratus plantae. This problem may need surgical release of the abductor hallucis fascia if conservative treatment and the injection does not produce any effect. So this nerve is important because it's like the under nerve of the hand, it supplies most of the intrinsic muscle of the foot, and it's important because it has the Baxter nerve. It's also important because it can be injured when you put rods from the heel, the calcaneus, into the tibia. The lateral plantar nerve can be injured. You got, you know, the anatomic landmarks. You got to avoid injury to the lateral plantar nerve. Another point of interest is if you have a hardware prominent uh, near the sustentaculum to lie, it can injure the flexor, hallucis as long as tendon, but also can injure the lateral plantar nerve because this one will be closer to the sustentaculum than the medial plantar nerve. I hope this review is helpful to you. If you like the video, Please mark like. Thank you. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.